What's up everyone back in Hungry Shark Evolution for the new Megalodon Monday live event and I'm actually in California and it's not Monday yet but I'm pretty sure it is in London so the event has started. So the point of this one is to get the best survival time you can using the Megalodon and the top 1% gets 100 gems, top 5% gets 50 gems, top 10% gets 20 gems, top 25% gets 10 gems and everybody gets 5 gems. So I'm going to see how well I can do and you guys see if you can beat it. So here we go. All right, so I'm gonna start recording right now at 47 minutes. This is right after one of my revivals. There's just no way I'm gonna post a video this long. This is actually my best survival time I've ever had in this game, and I really did not intend to live this long. I usually try not to win these events if it's only gems, because I don't need them, and I feel bad taking them from somebody who does. But I feel like I can't make a competition video and say, okay, I live for three minutes. You guys see if you can beat it. Another gold rush. And my strategy basically is to put as much stuff that adds to energy on the Megalodon and try to be on a gold rush as much as possible. And I pretty much just stay on the surface the entire game. I've noticed if you go like way down in the water, and we're about to starve to death. If you go way down in the water, you will run out of food and then you will starve to death. But if you stay on the surface, it's really hard to run out of food. 48 minutes. I don't know why it only says 47 minutes at the bottom. And we get an enemy Megalodon. I'm going to see if I can also hit 5 million coins in this video. I'm at 4.99 million. I really don't like... Oh no, no. Oh, I thought he was going to get us. I feel like I've eaten like a hundred King of Summers in this game. He's like everywhere. And I usually don't play as Megalodon, but after playing as Pyro, Megalodon feels awesome. He's like twice as fast. He's just Pretty much better in every way, as long as you don't run into Big Daddy. Another King of Summer. And I only have 47 million points, which is like really low. My high score is like 260 something million. And that was in a way shorter time than 49 minutes. Yeah, I'm staying away from the subs. I'll take that one out, I guess. And we're starving. That's another thing. Try to stay on the surface and don't fight anything that can kill you. Oh, I don't like the shark launchers at all. It's like launches you in the air and you starve to death like that. All right. I think we only have one revival after this to 49 minutes. I want to see if I can hit 5 million coins and see if I can survive for an hour. Even though I don't want to, I feel like I have to go for it because I'm already at 50 minutes. And we're starving again. It is really nice to be able to break boats again. I don't get why Pyro can't do it. I think he could eat Big Daddy, which means he's as big of a shark as Big Daddy. What are you doing, Megalodon? That is not how you want to go, getting stuck on a rock. You can see I'm like on a gold rush like this entire time. Which is awesome for a survival time event because you can't die on a gold rush, obviously. Look at this. Gold rush after gold rush. Up to 51 minutes. Yeah, and usually I dive down deep in the water right there. 
but it's just a bunch of subs. Big Daddy, which you can't kill, and it's just... It's not worth it. I don't go after anything that can take me out during, like, survival time events. Oh, we couldn't have run into that helicopter. Uh-oh. Starving again. Oh, how do we not die? We hit that mine and it started a gold rush. Oh, gold Mr. Snappy. Let's get him. There we go. And the sub. We need to live for like eight more minutes to hit an hour. We need like 6,500 more coins to hit five million. Oh, gold Megalodon. I don't know that we're gonna get it. Look how fast his health drops. That's crazy. I think if you stopped eating for like two seconds, you would die. What are you doing? I'm getting stuck on the rocks. What are you doing? Alright, here we go. Another gold rush. Perfect timing. We were just about dead. Farming again. Come on, we gotta find something. Oh, no. The harpoon guy got us. Alright, last revival. Ten gems. We live for seven more minutes. Can we get like 6,000 more coins? Another gold rush. I can't believe I've been playing this for 53 minutes. That is insane. I was thinking maybe like 20 or 25, another gold rush. And I think my best time, like 46 minutes, I did that with Mr. Snappy. It was two sharks away from Megalodon. And we get another enemy Megalodon and take out a boat and get a gem. And another gold rush. Hit 54 minutes. The King of Summer, another gem. Come on, Megalodon. Six minutes. And 6,000 coins. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't want to do that. It's so weird to switch back and forth between sharks. Like, if I was Alan, I would just run over that and not even care. But as Megalodon, it takes away like 90% of your health. Uh oh, starving. Come on. I kind of feel bad because I think I'm going to take somebody's spot for winning 100 gems with this survival time, but I kind of want to see if I can live for an hour. We need five more minutes. The boat, there we go. His health. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Get back in the water. I hate the shark launchers. Come on, don't get stuck on the rocks. Megalodon. Ah. Oh. All right, here we go, quick leaderboard check-in. So right now I'm number 26 in the top 0% with 55 minutes, and I wanna see what the first place person has. Geez, an hour, hour and a half, two hours, are you serious? Like, I love this game, but I could not play for two hours straight, so I'm pretty sure that person's gonna win. Let me know what place you are on the leaderboard, what your best survival time is in the comments below, and I will see you guys in my next video.